Hi boys and girls, today we're going to draw a turkey and we're going to write all the things that we are thankful for in the turkey's feathers. For this project, you will need a piece of paper held horizontally from side to side, a pencil, a black sharpie marker or a regular black marker, and whatever coloring supplies you have at home, whether they're crayons or markers or oil pastels, whatever you have is fine. We're going to start by drawing a large circle near the bottom center of your paper. Now when you're doing this, sketch it lightly. Remember to draw light until you know it's right. So sketch that circle lightly until you get it right. And that is when you can start making your circle a little darker. That is going to be the turkey's body. Next, we're going to draw the turkey's head. So that's going to be a medium circle that starts above that large circle and kind of comes halfway a little bit into that larger circle. So they're overlapping, okay? So a medium circle right on top of that larger circle. Next, let's draw a horizontal line across the bottom of our paper that slightly touches the bottom of that large circle. That will be the bottom edge of the feathers for our turkey. Now we need to make a big rainbow line up and over and around, connecting that horizontal line, one side of that horizontal line to the other side of that horizontal line. And this is going to be the space that we draw our feathers in. Next, let's draw our turkey's neck. So I'm going to draw a line from that medium circle that curves down and in on both sides towards the center of that large circle for the turkey's body. Then it's gonna curve back up and to the other side. So that is going to make our turkey's neck. Next, we will draw the turkey's beak. This is going towards the side, like his head is turned. And that's just a line diagonal down and to the left and then diagonal back in towards the head. Then we're gonna draw a little teardrop shape right at the top of that beak where it connects to the head. And that's gonna be the turkey's waddle. Then let's draw one eye because remember his head is turned to the side. So a medium circle, then a smaller circle inside of that, and then an even smaller circle for the glare. And when you color the pupil, remember not to color in that glare. Now I'm just simply erasing that line that kind of overlaps into the turkey's head from the turkey's body, because I want to make sure that I do not accidentally trace that later on. Now I'm going to draw the turkey's feet, so just a line down, zigzag across, and back up. Let's draw the sections for our feathers. So I'm gonna start right on top of the turkey's head and then I'm gonna to try to evenly draw sections going from one side to the other and trying to keep them even until I reach the bottom area of that half circle for the feathers. Next, I'm going to draw half circles on top of each section of those feathers. Now it's time to trace. Remember to trace with a black marker or black Sharpie. You can even use a black color pencil or a crayon. Tracing always makes our drawing stand out a little bit better when we add color. Don't trace that line connecting the head and the neck. You can erase that later on. When you're tracing the feathers, only trace the small half circles on top of the feathers. Don't trace that curved line from that large half circle. Then trace the lines separating each feather.
When you're done tracing, it's time to erase those pencil marks. When you're done erasing those pencil marks, I want you to think of and write down all things that you are thankful for inside of each feather. Then you will also trace those words. Feel free to add a little flair to your letters by maybe adding some circles colored in, maybe at the tops and the bottoms of each letter to make it look a little fancy. Once again, don't forget to erase those pencil marks when you're done tracing. Now it's time to add some color. Feel free to color in your turkey however you want. I'm going to outline my areas with some marker in whatever color I choose to color them in later on. And then I'm going to color with some crayon. You can color your turkey in whatever colors you want. Hope you guys enjoyed drawing your thankful turkeys today. Don't forget to have fun, be creative, and don't worry if you make a mistake. See you next time.